welcome 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 everyone so we are live in facebook today we have a very special guest today you want to rock yes already we are rocking initially he is a entrepreneur at big community confident hub yeah but whenever we meet mr uday i i love to call them ud so whenever the discussion will happen we will be calling in ud and he calls me in dv so uh, actually we are humans so things we call each other like that the coordination is like this so in this case he is going to talk about the communication part which is a very important aspect in the workplace whatever you are doing your business or in your career which is very important communication doesn't only means communication like with the verbal communication in verbal communication that is not verbal that is we are putting an email sending every day this is a of in our work culture which is very uh, that is how to create a this is very important thing by the way when we are drafting an email to a client okay we uh, draft the formal terms and conditions right so here also there is a strategy okay how we are placing our business proposal to the different companies whether they will accept it or not and even to the manager position wherever as a working professionals so everything will be covering i will be covering that's the reason i have called yudi specially and thank you yudi for coming because she is always a jovial person and i love to talk to her and every time i just learn many things from her so thank you thank you so yeah. much yes. am i you first did. of all am i audible and visible to everybody am i audible to you db yeah. yes yes you are audible to me and visible definitely because i am watching you in fb as well live fantastic and, fantastic yes. and i want to know one thing please unmute yourself you have already unmuted please uh, to speak about yourself give them the what exactly you do and how they will be able to understand what is verbal what is non verbal communication because this is your part fantastic thank you very much thank you very much dv uh, devasmita thank you very much uh, ladies and gentlemen it's my it, it gives me immense pleasure and i consider it as an honor and a privilege to be interviewed by none other than devasmita herself she is one dynamic lady and i'm grateful to the universe that i have a good rapport with her uh, the rapport is so good uh, that we don't we you know call each other by initials like db and ud instead of complete name uh, so to some extent we can address each other as in for informally just because uh, both of us have a good con commu you know connection and thanks to what effective communication that's what has got you know us, us professionally together and we do great work together fantastic thank you very much for having me here db i truly appreciate it thank you very much hello everybody hello if fb family social media family uh, db's family all you are entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs and working professionals all of you thank you very much First things first there was this great explosion on 27th March 1973 in deep down in Tamil Nadu and a child was born through natural childbirth not in a hospital gaon mein right beside uh, the uh, jahan pe pani garam hota hai na copper wala ek purana chimney jaisa chhota sa hota hai gaon mein hota hai uske bagal mein in the lady was having labor she had labor pains and baby was delivered he was born in deep tamil nadu however his late father who was a government servant with the ministry of defense got resulted that he kept getting transferred from one place to another so born in tamil nadu however raised not brought up never ever say i was born and brought up animals are brought up you and i are human beings please in your interviews or anything please stick to i was born and raised thank you very much kya kare coach control hi nahi hota nikal hi jata hai anyways so i was raised in mp and maharashtra so i am so my first language what i'm coming to that is my first language is tamil my second language is hindi wo bhi shuddh hindi se to hame behat lagav hai behat pyar hai 
third language because I've been living in Maharashtra for the last 35 years. Marathi. I love that language too. I love all languages. Marathi is my third language. And my fourth language happens to be, ladies and gentlemen, spoken English, written English or Queen's English, if you may. Now, that language is another language which I'm very fond of. Uh, and uh, remember, ladies and gentlemen, enough about me. I want to know more about you guys. Yeah, I, my handle is there on Facebook. My accounts are never private. It's for the world to see. Check me on Instagram. Check me on Facebook to know more about me. DM me asking me questions. Sir, what did you do? How was your experience? So on and so forth. In short, after 22 years of, uh, yes, I was part of the corporate world too for 22 years. And after 22 years, I quit a high paying job uh, <laughs> and to start doing things on my own in simple words or in other words to follow uh, my passions full time and uh, work come pleasure. So I do full time. I teach. I ride motorcycles. I sing rock music and uh, kindness and empathy. These are the things I'm very passionate about and I do that for a living and uh, life is beautiful that way. Has taught me how to be happy. Happy always. I ask DB, I'm always happy. <laughs> so yeah, so in spite of the corporate experience, and so I thought when I have so much knowledge of verbal and non-verbal communication, which I have more than 17 to 18 years of experience teaching in various industries, I thought, why not share that knowledge with the world? So that's exactly what I do, what I do today. And believe me, it's true. Knowledge is something the more you share, the more it grows. So I, I'm a firm believer in that. And that's what I do. Yes, DB. I hope that answers your question. So that's a little bit about me. Yeah, I'm trying with the new technology with something that is the spotlight. And I think uh, the thing has moved to myself. So, okay. uh -huh. so now I can just try to spotlight you. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Uh, there is something like uh, participants will only be able to see host videos. Yeah, so, okay. no problem. Okay, before we go to the question answers, I forgot because we were in a little hurry. I mm -hmm. forgot to make you the co host. So mm -hmm. I have already made you the co host. Please start the recording. Okay, you want me to start the recording? Yeah, give yeah. me just a second. Yeah, you can. Uh, yes, this is the uh, this is what I generally give because once you're taking this, you can record this and you can publish in your platform as well. Oh, fantastic! Fantastic. Yeah. We are a recording in progress. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Yes, yeah. DB, all yours. Ask me. Yes. Now, the question. The very mm -hmm. uh, When we are just talking about various things, right? Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. first question which comes in my mind, mm -hmm. while because of pro uh, the, I love the way you have introduced yourself, right? The, the word, the effective and the non-effective com uh, communication, which is basically... Uh, before we start the session, we were just having a joke on something. Okay, and then he was telling me, no, no, this is an effective and this is a non-effective other. Uh, so, we are, before example, we will give in a different way. But, yes, definitely there is a question that just let me know about your mission. What is your purpose and what is your, what value you want to give to the first, let me, let us understand what is your mission, vision and your purpose? Oh, my mission is very simple. Uh, my mission is I want to spread happiness the way and tell people that happiness is not something you look for. Instead, you should try making happiness look for you. And that's what I teach. And that is only uh, possible most of the time, 99.9% of the time, if you have effective communication skills. Now, when, when we talk about communication skills, it's not just using spoken words and talking to someone else. Communication always, effective communication begins with speaking with oneself in order to judge in order to know the right thing to say at the right time in the right way. 
how not to react how not to uh, listen only to reply listen to understand how not to uh, uh, how not to look distracted when someone is talking to you pay complete attention make eye contact keep your phone down if i shout at someone at home later on feeling bad about it what's the point yes that happens we are all humans however out of five times when i get angry at home out of the four maybe once i raise my voice the other four times i will stop myself i'll speak to myself how do i communicate with the situation remember please why am i giving these examples db and everybody uh, who's watching this effective communication begins at home if you think that you need effective communication only at a workplace only to get promoted only for good things to happen only to achieve success at work that won't be possible my dear friends if you are not a naturally a good person and naturally a good communicator and that practice begins at home you can't be an angry and arrogant person at home and try to portray that you are a very effectively communicating nice nice guy outside no that doesn't work for too long you might get one promotion but after that you'll be stuck in that post for next 10 years why because genuinely within yourself you haven't accepted the principles of effective communication yourself be nice to people be be kind one very simple example i'll give you db as children we are taught not just by parents by peers by elders by teachers everyone beta bolo beta which are the magic words sorry thank you and please sorry but when we grow up we forget them we seldom use it at home we take people for granted my mother in law serves me food ha wo to dena hi unka kaam hai no maybe you don't mean it that way however we forget to use these words at home start using thank you please i'm sorry let's try to start home is the best place to practice kindness practice empathy so you can do it in a much better way in the outside world in professional world you need to be a naturally a nice person otherwise it doesn't work dp i've seen it yeah ye daadi aisi safed nahi hui hai bahut aaye bahut dekhe maine ye rat race mein people don't get promoted not because uh, because they have wrong ethics if your ethics are not good you can never be a good communicator just learning how to pronounce words just learning in how to increase my vocabulary just learning how to be a creative writer is not enough if you are a not a nice person yourself it begins from there so please be nice start practicing nicety nicety please smile all of us are gorgeous smiles kyun haste nahi ho aap log muskurate kyun nahi ho yaar start smiling for no reason <laughs> look at this i don't need a reason <laughs> big deal the more you smile it's better ha aise ya aise mat hasna samne wala dar jayega you know what i mean it's a smile आप ऑफिस में जाते हो गेट में चौकीदार गेट खोलता है स्माइल करके थैंक यू बोलो उसको वेन आई क्विट माई हाई पेइंग जॉब इन विप्रो टेक्नोलॉजी सम एट नाइन इयर्स अगो डीबी इवन इफ यू गो टू विप्रो कैंपस टूडे इन पुणे इफ यू गो टू विप्रो कैंपस वे द मैनेजर्स वुड हैव चेंज्ड बट एवरी सिक्योरिटी गार्ड एवरी जेनेटर एवरी स्टाफ स्टिल रिमेंबर्स यूडी सर you i used to smile i used to say hello to them i used to address them by names i used to give them it wasn't you know why we didn't get that's why i got promoted let me put it that way that's why i used to handle pan india i used to handle 25 trainers for good 3 4 years because everything communicates everything about you communicates 
if you think just speaking nice words and sending flowery language in your business writing skills is enough wake up smell the coffee you being smell you you achhi achhi pyari pyari baatein karo pyari pyari emails bhejo aur sabke samne boss ki tareef karo lekin cafeteria mein jaake hum dono dabba kha rahe hain db aur main ek saath mein dabba kha rahe hain are yaar kya khade us manager hai mera yaar dimag ka dahi kar raha hai yaar main kab do mahine pehle bola tha chutti dene ko abhi tak nahi diya everything about you communicates bagal se koi ja raha hoga aapko samajh mein bhi nahi aayega aapki baatein sunega wo baat aapke manager tak pahunch jayegi effective communication is a 24 by 7 job it cannot be only for 10 minutes of presentation it cannot be only for 2 hours of client visit isn't it db that's what it is maine aapke do do teen questions ke answer ek mein de diye honge i'm sure <laughs> thank you thank you i have i have answered the question <laughs> yeah but i have not yet finished you know yeah please ask me yeah many of the Viewers are not aware that you your wife is into NLP, right? And you are also learning NLP. That yes, is neuro linguistic, yeah, neuro linguistic language, right? Neurologically, we what we used to say. So neuro linguistic language programming, NLP. How NLP is important in communication and in the aspect of body language. Oh my God, it's immensely important. First of all. uh let's talk about you know uh, uh, if if you take communication skills uh people the viewers and the listeners right now db and i might have a conversation for next 45 minutes let's say can you believe it in those 45 minutes spoken words are just 7% 93% is non verbal communication which includes both of our tone of voice both of our eye contact both of our gestures hand gestures posture the way we shake our head the way we shrug our shoulders if we do micro expressions it conveys a lot the kind of words we use the tone of voice how we use it all that is 97% which proves that it's not what you say it's how you say it what you say is that 7% how you say it is the 93% so ladies and gentlemen yes coming to when i talk about eye contact and facial expressions one example uh, from neuro linguistic programming which is one of my uh, favorite things in the whole world actually I'm a huge fan of Sigmund Freud, Eric Byrne. They're all my uh, gurus, all my mentors. I mean, वो सब मेरे द्रोणाचार्य हैं. मैं उनका एक लव्य हूँ. That kind of a relationship I have with those uh, two great thinkers. Uh, which something I learned was uh, like a lot of things I learned, but there are few things which I learned that how neuro linguistic programming can help you read a person like a book. what a simple example could be how the eyes move when you ask a question how the eyes move where the eyes look before answering a question especially in your viewers in the viewers right now if you are in the hr department i think every human resource personnel should be neurolink nlp trained at least basics It will help you a lot in आपका attrition कम हो जाएगा क्यों गलत लोग को recruit ही नहीं करोगे जो दो महीने में भागने वाले You will be able to catch liars like this in a corporate interview like this एक second में आप पकड़ोगे There are small signs which NLP teaches you. It, it uh, NLP teaches you to observe patterns in the ten minute conversation. certain patterns will tell you whether that person's answer is truthful or no so you need not wait to you know instead of taking a wrong person and that wrong person creating a much bigger headache two months down the line you can snub the problem at the bud itself you don't let the problem flower so i think hr personnel if you are into human resources 
police enroll for neurolinguistic programming, ask DB, get contacts from DB, and DB knows uh, a brilliant mentor. Enroll, learn. Learn. It's a must for HR people. Now let's talk about the other corporate levels, the project managers, the senior managers, all of you must learn neuro-linguistic programming. I think you should have it as how you in corporate sectors and IT sectors, you have Microsoft uh, ka certificate mil gaya, to appraisal mein help hota hai. Har quarter mein ek certification karunga help karega. Neuro-linguistic programming ka ek basic certification bhi hona chahiye companies mein. Especially for senior leaders, for team leads, for projects who handle teams, who have client-facing roles. Very important. It will help you guys immensely. Immensely. It will help you immensely. So, coming back, body language. So, that was neuro-linguistic programming. Body language, very, very important, ladies and gentlemen. It is so important that it exactly conveys what you are or what your intentions are. How truthful or uh, can I depend on you by giving this responsibility to you? How dependable you are, your body will show me. You know why? Everything communicates. And believe me, senior managers and the leaders, even they have a lot of experience interacting with people and handling teams. That's how they've reached there. So, man, everything, management watches. A seniority doesn't need to be walking in the corridor to observe you. He can sit in his cabin, he can sit in Singapore office and know about you. Never forget that. These things people don't understand. So now when it comes to body language, the way you stand in a business meeting, the way you sit across a table, everybody is sitting elegantly and you sit. Uh, or everybody is talking, everybody's, you know, everybody's face is towards the speaker, only your face is this way, looking somewhere else. And you know what? Apna luck kharaab hota hai. Jab photographs click hota hai, apna wohi hoga jab apna wahan dekh rahe hoonge ek second ke liye. Tabhi click hoga photo. Siru meri mundi wahan par hai, baki sab ki mundi listener ki taraf hai. Sabdi dekhenge, arre, ye bande ka, ye trick, sab loog yahan concentrate kar rahe hai, ye yahan kya dekh raha hai? Small, parak padta hai dosto in jizo se, aapki body language se. Parak padta hai. Another one, when you use the company lift, your office could be on the 10th or the 15th floor. Lift me ghuste hai to hum sab ka body language kaisa hota hai? <laughs> Why that in, in non-verbal communication, there are five major things which are eye contact, appearance, hand gestures, body language and posture and something called proxemics. Are proxemics to bohot pyaar se sikhaya jata in neuro-linguistic programming. People entering into different spaces, personal space, so social space, public space, and so on. So a lift may suddenly everybody is in your personal space. No, people are very close. How is your body language? Make sure you don't have bad breath. Make sure your armpits are smelling good. So, yes, all this everything matters, especially you if you are in a corporate world. If you don't smell good, there is no point just talking and uh, just be appearance and showing arrogance or showing dominance, dominant posture and trying to win. No, if your armpit smells, that's the only thing I will think about and stay away from you. If you have bad breath, I will. that's the only thing which will be in my mind. I, I will not focus on how good you are, what are your achievements, how, how many appraisals you've got, blah, 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 blah. How much knowledge you have, experience you have, nothing. You have bad breath. That's all my subconscious mind will remember. And it will make me jump to conclusions about you and your personality and your outcome based only on that. So, if you body language, then this is all body language. Body language is not just moving around. <laughs> Entire thing is body. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, neuro-linguistic programming and body language. Get in touch with DB. Find out how to get, learn a little more about neuro-linguistic programming. She is one of the most helpful lady on this planet. Believe me. Believe me.
she she just doesn't uh, she'll never say no to you if you have if your wavelength matches with her. Yeah, otherwise she knows assertive communication. If the wavelength doesn't match, she knows how to say no. <laughs> Yeah, Devi, thank you. Thank you. I hope I've answered enough. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and just let me, uh, let the viewers actually, thank you, Gita, you are watching. I saw your your and then your thumbs thank up. Thank you. So, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. So, Gita, uh, so, God, Gita. so uh, Yuri, this is your question. Uh, please. So, with me, please, uh, those who are watching, how they can connect with you, Okay, I will be having a link tree. I will be putting a link tree in the in the, our description box. Okay, but still, I want to know that whether in any webinar you are conducting soon so that they can connect with you, how is the format? One-to-one -one or you take uh, the, what to say, two ways we can do it, right? Workshop module or webinar module or one-to-one -one module, how they can connect with you. Anything right. is up to Absolutely. Now, uh, let me put it this way. I am very comfortable with one-on-one. -on -one. I'm very comfortable with one-to-many. I'm very comfortable with uh, the webinar as well as the workshop model. Now, it all depends on only after I conduct something called a TNA with a person. It's called training need analysis. If that person for example, has severe pronunciations errors, has, uh, has very heavy regional language influence. That person will not get much help in a one to, or, you know, a one to many session. That person, I would advise that person to, you know, uh, follow the one, one, to, uh, one to one model with me. If there are people in my, if I conduct a training need analysis, if I have 10 people, who do not have critical errors or do not have too many red flags. You know exactly what I mean when it comes to written uh, verbal and nonverbal communication. If they do not, if I don't perceive too many red flags and uh, let's put it this way, they are trainable in a given span of time. Those people I usually do one to many, maybe a batch of five or batch of 10, never more than that. You know why? Because when I work, I believe in 100 percent conversion there is no place for 98 percent 96 percent no people i work with they have to improve to such an extent that their life changes because their personality has changed that's how i work so i i don't just blindly do a webinar or something like that first people when they contact me i give them my time i give good solid one hour out of my other schedule because I conduct a lot of one-on-one -on -one session and one-to-many session also. A couple of them I'm conducting right now. So it's a choco-block uh, thing. So I take out time. I tell that person, whoever DMs me, I get, gets in touch. I need to speak to that person on an audio-visual medium, not only audio. I don't entertain only phone calls. I need to see your face. I need to listen to you speak. I need to see your face when I talk to you. I need to see your smile. I need to see your facial expressions. I need to see how you how you are as a person. Only a voice will not help. Then the training need analysis will be incomplete. So that's how I function. So uh, uh, if you, uh, yes, everybody, if once DB shares the link tree, please feel free to get in touch with me on any of my social media platforms. I'm always, I'm, I'm quite active on the social media platform. Whenever I get time, I am scheduling things. Uh, well, I, I do, I'm not posting very regularly like I used to maybe four or five months ago because right now life has become too hectic. So only posting and you just scrolling and reading through that may not be too much of a help. Instead, imagine you in person with me, me helping you out makes more sense. <laughs> so that's how. Thank you for asking, DB. That 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 um, I appreciate that. I'm sure a lot of the others will also appreciate. It. Thank you so much, yeah, Yuri. Uh, the thing is, why I am telling, why I'm talking like this, the dedication of UD I saw. I just told him within two days I will, will be helping you in something, and that he did it within two days, and he worked with me till three, 3 a.m. and that was the commitment which I saw within him. 
and that is what <laughs> yeah you. you can understand <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, on the thanks to Zoom, Zoom. No, so, so actually, yeah, that is what the commitment level. Now, what what he is talking about? If he is talking about hundred percent, he will give you thousand percent, and that is what he is. Whereas, until and unless this is the work of a coach, this is the work of a the way we are giving to you because we want you to grow. Our intention is your growth, not our growth. Because we will be proud when we see your growth. And when I see few of my students are following me and doing oh. this and that, seriously feeling oh, <laughs> like, oh, wow. yeah, yes, uh, and that is what. And I saw Harsha also. In watching. in in your your case, it's easier, DB, because you're such a sweet person. <laughs> she, she, seeing me, <laughs> I know uh, the beard and all might throw you off. It's no, acha. Just one clarification: there is no spiritual reason for this. Yeah, there is no religious reason for this. This is I like it because I like rock music and I'm a motorcyclist. So that's yeah. why I've grown this because it goes with the image of a motorcyclist and a rock musician. That's all, nothing else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This reminds me of a very good question. Okay, mm -hmm. since Please. you have spoke about two things, right? Mm -hmm. That is, you are motorcyclist and mm -hmm. the rock musicians, right? Mm -hmm. the two of this are I'm inclined. Okay, <laughs> I used to see MTV to see how those motorcyclists are running <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> and what they are doing because I love the brothers, these two brothers, the way they are conducting the this thing there. There is something called fear, fear of communication. Many people are having sort certain things, right? Mm -hmm. That is, they have certain things while as a motorcyclist. Many people have saw accidents, okay? Mm -hmm. They stop riding because of this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, is my network is good? Yeah, my network is good too. Yes, I am ah, we are yeah. back. We are back. Yeah. yeah, we are back, right? I have an internet issue as well. Yeah, so no there, mm. ha, there is a question which comes uh -huh. in my mind at this. Uh -huh. There is a fear. Okay, the people get fear of traveling. Okay. Mm, go too, on. Right? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was just wondering, you had such me do hai ya mujhe do dikh rahe bhai. एक्सीडेंट्स ओके Mm -hmm. So they get a little fear about it. Correct. So how to overcome uh, that fear? Very good, very so, good. Again, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. I interrupted you. You, you were saying you finish your question, please. Yeah, sure. And as a motorcyclist, mm -hmm. they have a uh, first size. Just a second. I think from the two uh, are running struggling. So now my question to mm -hmm. yeah, much better. Now, mm -hmm. now my question towards you: How to overcome those fear? Number one, mm -hmm. and second of all, as a guitarist or something. Okay, somebody when they are playing some instrument, mm -hmm. they met certain. Um, things in their mind right people mm -hmm. when they are playing mm -hmm. they suppose they are thinking of their past and they start playing on it right and 
as a rock star you have maybe you saw this because we uh, have saw different type of movies uh, rock on actually inspired me to buy my synthesizer to learn okay <laughs> okay <laughs> so yes yeah, so uh, yeah so as we first specifically with the different because i am the uh, thinking of some uh, some instrument how they are they are actually with the it is one sort of an nlp right it is, they it are is. yeah yeah they are associated with some emotions how do they overcome this uh emotions yeah, uh, emotions emotions for example is uh, all right let me uh, uh, just uh, uh, you know paraphrase if i understand you correctly db you are asking that musicians how do they overcome uh, the fear of failure and yes. uh, and motorcyclists how they ride in spite of uh, the traditional conditioning of it being unsafe and things like that very good very good question now uh, first of all let's talk about motorcycling uh when it comes to motorcycling uh, there are a lot of uh, believe me non verbal the knowledge of non verbal communication helps me immensely it helps me immensely in order to uh, uh, uh you know uh, communicate with myself i never ride rash i always look uh, you need to read a non verbal communication of trucks in front of you even if he's not showing an indicator i'm so experienced that i can check i know that he is going to turn or change lane i never overtake from the left side of any vehicles on the highway never ever there isn't a camera in our country which has ever recorded me breaking a traffic rule i have never ever broken a signal i've never ever stopped my bike on a zebra sign zebra crossing it's always behind the line i you have you will never ever see me changing lanes without indication there are, you will never ever see my motorcycle without rear view mirror you will never ever find me listening to music or receiving calls in my helmet you will never ever see me racing and trying to prove i'm superior than you on a road i am very empathetic and very considerate about everyone who uses the road because all of them have equal rights the way i have to use that road or the highway how did you overtake me how dare you overtake me i don't bring my egos my parent ego or my child ego into these kind of things i operate from my adult ego life becomes easier safer not only for yourself for others too so communication skills especially non verbal communication skills you're right indirectly nlp helps me a lot to be a safe rider not only being safe for myself being safe for others i will always stop i will always slow down when, when, when because my speed will always be moderate i never cross a limit because it becomes very difficult to stop on time then i'm not a speed junkie i want to ride all my life till 90 years i'll be riding that's only possible if you are if you use your adult ego state you if you use effective communication skills if you use empathy being considerate to other people on the road always wearing safety gear helmet pehne bina db mai anda dood bread bhi khareedne nahi jata hu uske liye bhi helmet pehn ke jaunga main it's koot koot ke bhara hai integrity is not just be you know showing integrity to others please be you know show integrity to yourself too it's very important for you realize what self respected main pagal pagal nahi hu main samajhdar hu aur samajhdar jaise chalaunga i'm never in a hurry to reach a destination especially when i'm riding i like to enjoy the journey go slow take care of people always slow down for children animals and senior citizens when they are crossing the road always slow down for vehicles with learning signs l sign ye sab kon dekhta hai you have to observe all this road mere pitaji ka nahi aur sirf main hi nahi hu road pe wo road equals life bibi wo highway is a metaphor 
for life. So motorcycling teaches me how to negotiate in traffic without offending others. Being patient. Being an active listener. Being an active observer. Caring about others' needs too. Not just taking my need to ah, ah, reach, reach. No, I will get out of you What will you get? Nobel Prize will you get? Paramvir Chakra will you get? You will not get anything. The day you get a helmet, you will go without a helmet. So you cannot be lucky every time. Gire, hat pawn, tuta, jhur jayega. Dok. <laughs> Kharbuje jaysa khul jayega. And please, when you're, if you, another good example I'll give you, DB. When you want to train communication skills with the best, I have no shame in saying that you train with the best. Similarly, when your head is very precious, Highway pay 800 rupees, 1200 rupees, all over ganda helmet, mat kharido. Your head is precious. A helmet is like a mentor for your brain, for the safety of your skull. Spend money on a helmet. It's an investment. It's not an expense. Similarly, learn from DB, learn from UD. It's not an expense. It will be an investment of a lifetime. Both of us promise you that. So that's about the highway. Let's talk about music. Oh, my favorite topic. Uh, DB, being a rock musician, I've been singing on the stage for the last 30 years. And uh, it has helped me a lot to become a much better communicator. Uh, people tell me, so where do you get this energy from? Where, where do you get this um, insane confident from? Because I am insanely confident if I'm well prepared. Without preparation, confidence nahi aata hai. hawa tight ho jayega. I will always have 100%, maybe 200% preparation behind my insane confidence. I need, you need to be well prepared. Aise nahi. Without preparation, then you are an arrogant loser. You lose. You'll fall on your face. Happens with the best. Happens with the best. And as a communicator, I try to grow every day. And music, uh, you know, uh, writing songs, I love writing songs, DB. Why don't you have to use AI? Where AI is used, it's in my skull. I'm going to sit for two, three days in the jungle, I'm going to take a paper pencil, but I'm going to take a paper pencil. I'm going to take a paper pencil, I'm going to take a paper pencil, I'm going to take a paper pencil. Uttam, then come back to the concrete jungle, then come back to the grind and produce it. Then I hit the studio. Matter of fact, after our call, I'm starting a ride to Rajasthan. <laughs> so yeah, so motorcycling and just one more thing. All of you, हम सबको ना बचपन में ना माँ बाप ने कुछ तो एक इंटरेस्ट दिखाया होता कि दे माइट हैव सेंड यू टू पियानो क्लासेस और गिटार क्लासेस और सिंगिंग क्लासेस पेंटिंग क्लासेस स्कल्पचर क्लासेस समथिंग हैंडराइटिंग क्लासेस टाइपिंग क्लासेस कुछ भी होगा सम काइंड ऑफ क्लासेस गए हो गया वंस वी ग्रो अप एंड गेट इन you know, the rigmarole you and I will go insane that way. Agar aapka purana kohi ek passion ya ek hobby tha, try to keep it alive. If once upon a time you used to play the flute, play now also. Maybe once a week, aram se balcony mein morning chai, adrak ki chai rakho, ah, sur lagao, ah, ah, instead of scrolling on the phone. I'm not asking you not to scroll on the phone. But, हफ्ते में एक दिन ऐसा रखो दो घंटा जहां फोन ना हो आपके पास अदरक की चाय और सिर्फ आपकी फ्लूट हो या आपकी गिटार हो आपका वायलिन हो या पेपर पेंसिल हो आप कुछ क्रिएटिव राइटिंग कर रहे हो बिलीव मी दैट विल मेक यू अ सेनर पर्सन एंड अ सेन पर्सन ऑलवेज कम्युनिकेट इफेक्टिवली सी हाउ एवरी इज कनेक्टेड सिर्फ इंग्लिश सीख के कुछ नहीं होगा सिर्फ वोकेबलरी बढ़ा के कुछ नहीं होगा लिख के देता हूं <laughs> अगर वैसा पैसा कमाना होता तो मैं अभी तक पूरे दुनिया में मेरे क्लासेस चल रहे होते आई डोंट वर्क दैट वे दैट्स ट्रू एंड दिस रिमाइंड्स मी ऑफ समथिंग दैट इज आई वाज वाचिंग वन ऑफ योर इंस्टाग्राम 
he has posted thousand and thousand of <laughs> over there <laughs> it was helpful for me one thing i was watching uh, the when we are talking about song okay the uh, you don't have to be a uh, don't have to learn like that thing the simple you were just talking about the vowel you were using the vowel for pronouncing it and in a singing format okay because this is something which we teach to our children means in the for those who have taken a montessori training they know what i was talking about that is the rhythm for the when we are teaching the song and the uh, and the poem it is very easy that so we all know about the twinkle twinkle this is already associated with us and we know what is twinkle twinkle and the way you were singing that time and so if you just give us small uh this brief it out or you just, just show a small demonstration how you were doing it the people over here will understand it because i love it. <laughs> well yeah. all right um when when i talk about communication skills first of all it's a huge umbrella under that umbrella you have spoken ability then you have business writing skills which has email etiquette chat etiquette i teach them all uh, then you have then there are a particular set of students who only approach me to improve public speaking because as uh, db uh, and everyone we all know that apart from the fear of death the second most feared thing for a human being is public speaking and i and i i, I it's a god's gift thank you very much i'm very grateful uh, db i don't know what the word stage fright mean so ek bhagwan ki den hai mujhe main i can face 10 people or 10000 people my throat won't go dry my knees won't shake so it's been like that so what i teach them is you can become a public speak better public speaker if you drop your inhibitions yeah so when you drop your inhibitions inhibitions is the fear of getting judged the fear of uh, someone noticing me for what i'm not the fear of people speaking behind my back all those kind of fears which which are there in order to remove the fear i start my training with mindset shift first once the mindset shift is done then i incorporate some uh, in order to you know project your voice better because end of the day db it doesn't matter how how many qualifications you have it doesn't matter how many years of experience you have you are only as good as your communication skills period period you cannot win this argument with me nobody can it's you are only as good as your communication skills full stop so the one of the exercises which db is talking about how i teach is um there are few exercises which i've learned when i used to do theater in the bombay days i've learned uh, from a, a mentor called uh, uh, she was a renowned voice uh, coach in the british shakespearean british academy shakespearean theater academy so i have a lot of theater experience which i use in order for my students to become better public speakers so there is an exercise which i do because remember english is a stress based language it requires exaggerated mouth movements in order to do it so i make my classes interesting by including singing into it because very few few communication coaches coaches know how to sing so i use it as an advantage <laughs> let me put it that way so this is how the exercise goes and i all my voice exercises involve hand gestures all of them are done standing i teach them how to use their entire body language when they do their exercises aise bitha ke u a a u ai nahi kar karwata hu main why because we are all creatures of habit db a subconscious the more we repeat these actions the subconscious mind becomes more comfortable with you doing it so you might be a shy person so how to break your shy shyness away how to teach how to develop that switch in your mind it's okay to be an introvert person i don't expect everyone to become a shameless extrovert as i am 
but I'll teach you the secret of developing a switch in your mind. You be an introvert, but when you need to face the public, need to make a presentation, need to go on stage, how to switch on the extrovert in you. Finish your performance, finish your presentations, come back, sw switch off the extrovert, go back being an introvert. Who's stopping you? But to be successful in a public forum, you cannot be an introvert alone. That doesn't help much. So that's the mindset I teach. So the exercise is something like this, DB. Would you like to do with me? <laughs> yeah, repeat after me. Yeah, with the hand gestures. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ah. Look, you're just being ashamed. ये जो शर्मा रही है ये शर्माहट कैसे निकाला जाए सो आई टीच यू हाउ टू ब्रिंग द मैडनेस आउट ऑफ यू बिकॉज दैट्स व्हाट द कॉन्फिडेंस इज हाउ एवर देर इज अ मेथड टू माय मैडनेस एंड आई डू इट इन अ वेरी एंटरटेनिंग वे माय क्लासेस आर नेवर बोरिंग माय एट्रिशन इज ऑलमोस्ट नील आई मेक श्योर दैट माय स्टूडेंट्स लुक फॉरवर्ड टू एवरी सेशन ऑफ माय and that's what so these are the kind of exercises which i teach so these are vowel sounds u o a a i e i a i a o o u so these are all sounds for example uh, when you make pronunciation errors if you're a north indian up 14 nahi bol paoge aap bologe 14 14 14 ko kaise theek karenge pa a ओ ओ सो आई आई टेल द स्टूडेंट आप अ यूज कर रहे हो फोर्टीन अ नहीं ओ फो फोर्टीन सो माई एक्सरसाइज बिकम अ पैटर्न इन द सबकॉन्शियस माइंड यू नो वाई दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट माई टीचिंग मेथड वेन आई एम नॉट विद देम दे शुड बी एबल टू रेकग्नाइज देयर ओन एरर्स एंड करेक्ट देम सेल्फ करेक्शन I'm not going to be there. Papa is not going to be there around every time. Papa's got other kids to cater to too, <laughs> isn't it? So I make sure that my students take away uh, so much confidence that even if they make an error while a presentation, they will laugh it off. I teach them the art of laughing at themselves instead of worrying about others laughing at them. I teach them the art of how not to take an error too seriously. how to carry on with the presentation how to go on uh, speaking in the public without worrying about anything how to read people how to if an audience is distracted how to use pausing effectively bring people's attention back and how to make them eat out of your hands <laughs> interesting now the thing is uh, with the mindful of the time because and i have i know you have some Uh, since you are uh, the thing is the request number one and the second is you have to travel. So Absolutely. thank you very much. Yeah, Don't yes. Don't worry. And Any have... anything for you, DB. Anything for you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, I'm I'm super excited because this is not the end. This is the starting actually. Yes, ma'am. I will be taking. Ah, uh -huh, I will be taking you in LinkedIn and Twitter next for the interview. Fantastic! Okay. Fantastic! Yeah. Let's rock and roll. Let's spread yes. the magic of knowledge, yeah. communication, and love. Yes, yes. Do <laughs> spread it because when we are learning with the music, with the communication, actually there are lots and lots of yes. This is also one of the thing which one we will we will take because when I see you, I have so many questions. <laughs> And I have to be mindful of time. And, and get, guess time. what? And I have so many answers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason. Now, when we start, we don't even see our watch how long we are conversing. But, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but the thing is, here in this platform, because the time is restricted, and we have correct, to, and correct. you have to move out also. So yes, thank you, thank yeah. you very much. And just yeah. one more thing, DB. You know why it becomes why I become more passionate? It's not. It's because you are there. You and I are wavelength matches. You you are a very kind person. You are a nice human being. I like. I want good human beings to be in my life. Yeah. Who doesn't want good human beings? Yeah. So That even if a little time extend, okay, I start my ride maybe an hour late. 
big deal. It's always worth it. It's always nice to talk to DB and uh, uh, your followers, your community. And uh, thank you very much for having me. It's, it's truly my privilege and an honor, DB. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I'll definitely call you for the link because we have lots and lots of discussions in LinkedIn and Twitter. This is why I'm planning like this. Because there are maximum professionals who are searching for the right coach, right? Because, yeah, so that's we're keeping this because we need something to discuss over there as well. Everything we are talking here. <laughs> oh, you are in for a surprise. You might run out of questions. I will never run out of answers. <laughs> because communication is so vast. Oh, yes, exactly. So vast. Yeah. Right now, I'm compressing all my answers and giving and, short answers. Yes, so and vast. you know, yes, and uh, NLP, I'm just using one thing that is, I'm using special uh, eye technique and I have hired one candidate while using that. Achha, <laughs> very smart. Very smart. Kaise? Recall kar raha tha ya construct kar raha tha? Recall kar raha tha. Construct kar raha tha. Recall kar raha tha. Good, 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 good. Oh, very yeah. good. <laughs> राहुल Oh yeah, my message uh, to Rahul uh, would be, uh, uh, Rahul, thank you so very much uh, for being such an amazing human being, and uh, for having, uh, for to have such an amazing and a calm voice. I'm a man of communication. I love your voice, uh, Rahul, and I'm sure the calmness, the positivity, the authenticity which your magical tone of voice has. must be creating miracles and magic in many people's lives i wish you all the success keep going keep inspiring rahul george you're amazing buddy you're amazing keep rocking thank you so much because this is because you told me yesterday to convey the same so i want <laughs> you to convey it thank <laughs> you thank you of, this thank is you, also you. a part of communication because people are now running with the time right there are so many things we have because we don't have the time to communicate but right. if you are now social media thanks to uh, social thanks to the social me mm -hmm. media that they they are enabling us mm -hmm. yes absolutely this. absolutely yeah so it's fine uh, so again we are from me Meeting in the other social media platform. Yes, DB. Thank you so very much. You yeah. take care. You take care. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Take care, everybody. And remember, <laughs> please follow your passions. And remember, never believe the naysayers. You will always find lot of naysayers in your life. Never believe them. Believe <laughs> only yourself. <laughs> and don't and don't do anything <laughs> that I wouldn't. Ciao. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, DB. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah.